place of salvation. Sometimes we rejoice even for little things, and it's normal. It's normal. But could we rejoice about these wonderful news that Lord God give us an opportunity to be forgiven and to be saved and enter the kingdom of heaven as the children of God and never be judged and avoid the hell? Could we rejoice? Look how devil blinded eyes of people, agenda of this world, which is the evil. Open Bible and read the Word of God. Read about the truth. Living Word of God, Word of grace and mercy. And we need God's grace. We need God's mercy. Let me good seed come to Jesus. He is the light of the world. Come to Him. Come to the Calvary. Look at Him. The Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. He went to the cross and was crucified. He is the Lord of God who was a slave and shed His blood which washes and cleanses us from all our sins. You are free to make decisions how you want to live, but you will not avoid by standing in front of God to respond for our life. And whoever you are, maybe you say that you are Muslim or maybe you are Jewish, or maybe you are a uh, Hindu and you say that you believe in your God, I want to tell you that there is only one God, Jesus Christ. And that He is only the way to be saved. Because only Jesus died for our sins and cross for our sanctification. You will not find salvation in Allah. You will not find salvation in the Judaism. You will not find, find a salvation in Krishna or Buddha, but you will find salvation in Lord Jesus Christ. Only in Jesus. And Bible states that we have only one name under the heaven through whom we could be saved. And the name is Jesus, Yeshua. God so loved this world. He sent His begotten Son. That whosoever believes in Him want to be perished but have an everlasting life. Lord came into this world not condemned. But then we have God bless you, sir. Repent of the sin, God loves you. Otherwise, you see him as a judge. Think about your souls. I'm not scaring you. I'm not scaring you. I love you. And your souls are very worthy on the eyes of the Lord. Why have you chosen the death? Choose the life. If I would have a power to give you life, to say we are going to do it, but I cannot. I'm the same man as you. You need to have a Jesus who is the Lord, but took a flesh and went to the cross, died and rose from the dead, and fulfilled the plan of salvation. That's why we all need a Jesus. Lord Jesus. Because Jesus is not, not only a teacher or healer or prophet. Lord Jesus is the Lord. Repent of your sin. Repent, change your lifestyle. Otherwise you see Lord Jesus as a judge. And you will cry. You will cry a lot. But it's going to be too late. Today is a day of grace. And today is a day of mercy. Lord forgives the sin, our sin, but we need to humble ourselves. We need to admit our sin. We need to confess our sin and come to the Jesus. Come to the Calvary. Jesus won. We could become a part of His victory. Repent your sin. Change your lifestyle. We leave so short period on this earth and we truly we are strangers and aliens we are strangers and aliens we cannot take anything from this earth you cannot take your money you cannot take your cars you cannot take your house you cannot take even your family we cannot take anything we came from our mother empty and empty will return back but only what we could take it. It's a fate. Fate. 
God wants to give it upon His holy name, Jesus Christ, to be saved by the name of Yeshua, by the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And a good work. We cannot be saved by doing good work. But good work are an important part of our living in the Christ. So start to do good work. But the first of all, believe in Jesus Christ. Change your lifestyle. Repent your sin. I demand your sin and confess, not to me, but to the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you are a member, church member, you maybe you are baptized. It doesn't mean that you are saved. You must be born again. You must be born again. You must change your lifestyle. All oh, souls of mortals. Maybe you are living here. Maybe you are a guest. 